Hi guys, this is Ancestral Owl Messages, and this is going to be a general read for the collective sign of Aquarius. Okay, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Aquarius. For this, their general message timeless in Jesus name amen all right okay one off the top one off the bottom crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing still in the energy of the full moon Voyage of the heart. Love th flows through you and to you. Let's do that again. Love flows through you and to you. Still can't English. Okay. Let's click on with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle card deck again. Okay. All right. And that was the Sacred Traveler deck. By Denise Lynn, and this is Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck by Kyle Gray. All right, let's see what's going on, Aquarius. One more shuffle. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. Stargazer, set your sights higher. And Protection Guardian, drop your shields. I've seen this come out a lot in the past few days. For some reason, you're being very guarded. But this is about stepping into, hold on a second, sorry about that. All right, this is about stepping into spiritual gifts. Ascending higher closer to the light this is coming out of it could be coming out of a dark night of the soul See, I don't think you know how gifted you really are and I think I really feel like there's gifts that's opening up to you that you didn't believe were there This is also about healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. But this is about connecting, connection, relationship, spiritual path. This could, I feel like this is a relationship too. there's a connection here all right Queen of Wands King of Swords I'll go through each of them in a second Queen of Cups there's a lot of Divine Feminine energy here High Priestess yes Nine of Cups Five of Pentacles, Hangman, Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles, Justice. Okay, it's a lot of Divine Feminine energy here. The Queen of Wands could be dealing with Fire Sign. This is fiery, passionate energy. 
see you go from Queen of Wands. I don't feel like this is your energy. This is energy of somebody else. To King of Swords. Air sign. There you guys are. To Queen of Cups. Two queen, queens on either side. Divine Feminine is nurturer, caregiver, mother, teacher. Divine Masculine is protector, doer, guide. That's what this is. This you have two different energies around you. This could be, this is water sign. One of the energies have water in their chart somewhere. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The other, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You have two different energies around you. Divine Masculine, there's no gender in tarot, but this is the doer. You are, you are working on yourself. You're working on yourself. You have goals set in mind. I don't really think you're thinking about a relationship. I don't feel that way. But there's, there's, it's on either side. Like, it's almost like you have your head down going forward. There's two different energies around you. I would say it could be the embodiment of the same person, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like two different energies. So we'll put that aside for a second. And then High Priestess, um, I feel like this is you. And this is stepping into your gifts. Um, Major Arcana, High Priestess, number two card that is connecting with the Divine. And that is, see, you're allowing yourself to be, you're just really being guided. You have a goal in mind, that's where you're going. But this is spiritual gifted. Starseed. Every time I see this card, I just think about Starseed. But I think the goal, I really feel like the goal that you have in mind isn't high enough. Hold on a second. Okay, now I'm going to keep the phone next to me. Anyway. Connecting to the divine. Being intuitively connected. Allowing the guidance is going to lead you to this Knight of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. But you have two different energies around you. Now, Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. I feel like you almost feel like the Divine has forgotten you. And he hasn't. It's like the right timing. Hangman. Feeling stuck. Seeing things from new perspective, but I feel like this is a stuck energy. Like things aren't moving fast enough for you. You have to connect intuitively and really connect to your, these new spiritual gifts that are unveiling themselves for you and opening up for you. Because there's that eight of wands and that's a defensive, being on the defensive, very defensive energy. Like you have a lot of words coming at you. Because wands are words, you have a lot of information coming at you and it's making you feel defensive. This is someone that's called you off guard. Caught you off guard. Is that the same energy? I feel like it's two different energies. Fire sign and a water sign. I feel like it's two different energies. Two different people coming at you. But you're just worried about, you're standing in that energy. Finances in order, um, 
going in the direction. This is King of Pentacles. This is taking care of your finances, your resources, your spiritual um, awakening. Spiritual resources, just taking care of what you need to take care of. This is not only making plans, but it's putting your head down and putting them into action. And then there's justice, karmic justice, finding balance in your life. But I feel like these, this, these two energies here, that fire sign and that water sign, with you in the middle. Coming at you. And making you feel like on the defensive. So what is that about? Knight of Cups. <laughs> oh, you are caught in the middle of something. Page of Pentacles, and it's making you learn something new about yourself. Six of Cups. Stay in the present moment. Six of Cups is a step up from Five of Cups. Five of Cups is that nostalgia caught in the past card. This is staying in the present moment. Like I said, you're putting your head down and doing what you need to do and going in this direction that you feel that you being led to go into there's other gifts opening up for you but you really have to connect though i think you're blocking something that wants to come in ace of wands new beginning but that's new beginning that's going to start out with a conversation a magician because you're manifesting it yeah, you're manifesting this new beginning. Page of Swords. There's another page. Student. Messenger. This is messages of action. Yeah, somebody... Who is... There we go. Five of Cups. Nostalgia. That's what this is. Hold on. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Two of Wands, it's funny, two, two, and Ten of Swords. All right, let's get to this here. They are coming at you with stuff from the past. Like they're wanting to take a trip down memory lane. Now, it was, it's two different energies here. But there's that love offer, but the, these two different energies, and let me explain this for a second. These two different energies here could be the same person. Now, the reason I say it could be the same person is because it's almost like, I just heard it in my head, I get it. They run hot and cold. They're very passionate, very fiery temper, and then they turn on the emotions. Like, it's almost like they're dousing their own passion. Now, this could be the same person. There's, that's one scenario where they run hot and cold. I feel like, too, that it could be two different energies, though, that's still in your space. But they're wanting you, and it's put you on the defensive because you don't know what to say. Like, you really don't know what to say. But they're wanting you to walk down that memory lane... And there's that love offer. So you're working on your spiritual gifting. And then all of a sudden that's going to pop up. Which has led to. Learning something new about yourself. There's those two students right there. Pentacles and swords. Pentacles is about resources. This is about spiritual resources. Emotional resources. Physical resources. It's almost like you Learning new craft, maybe. Not even new craft, but... Being that student, learning... Learning what you have and what you don't have. But this is almost taking, like, internal stock. And then the Page of Swords, it's your thoughts. That's what... That's what this is the student of because you are manifesting and you're really learning what 
it takes and what happens when you manifest. Because it's almost like you're, you're getting on top of your thoughts and your actions and what you're pulling and how you're manifesting. Because if you stay in that negative low vibe energy, you're going to manifest low vibrational people. You're going to pull them into your energy space. Like, this took you off guard. Like, you didn't know what to say. You didn't know what to say. You didn't know what to do. And two cards of connection. Two of Pentacles is being... I feel like here it's being in two minds over something. And then two of wands is connecting wands or words. This is connecting with this new dialogue. Ace of wands. And then ten of swords. This is closing out a cycle, but this is backstabbing and betrayal. Did you feel like this person betrayed you? They put you on the defensive by making, like, almost using, it was like they were using the past against you. In a manipulative way. And that's what has caused this. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Chariot. And there's the Lover's card. Yeah, there is someone in your energy field. King of Cups. Okay. Now, this other person here really made you feel on the defensive, taking a um, walk down memory lane, that type of thing, this nostalgic thing, but this is the thing, and I'm going to show you these. Ten of Pentacles is financially stable, everything set, resources, this almost comes across like you're good by yourself. And this is also another 10 that's closing out a cycle. Queen of Pentacles, there's another Divine Feminine energy. And I don't feel like this is... I feel like this is you in a way. And I'll explain. Because you're taking the initiative. Queen of, King of Pentacles showed up too. And I'll get there in a second too. Let me... Because you put your head down and you're taking care of what you need to take care of. There it is. King of Pentacles. I know it. There's a lot of divine feminine, divine masculine partners here. Like, a, a, like you're not just getting one, you're getting both. There's a partnership here. But I feel like when it comes to Queen of Pentacles... On one side, this is you taking care of your financial future, your career, your aspirations, your goals, but it's nurturing that. It's putting the love and intention and the care towards it. So not only are you nurturing it and bringing it to pass, you're out doing and you're taking care of that, putting your head down and doing it. But this is also... Queen of Pentacles, someone that's financially stable, taking care of their selves, which brings in that connection. There's that two again. This is six cards. I'm talking two because there's the connection, a divine connection. And it, it then puts you in that King of Cups feels where you're in that energy of, I have to do something about it. Now, is it this person that's running hot and cold? Because that Queen of Cups is that King of Cups divine partner as well. It's like they fight against you, then they're in their emotions. Like back and forth. Almost like bipolar. That's how this feels. But it'll, because it feels like two different people. And this could be two different energies coming at you. But it's put you in the defensive. You 
though, are good on your own, like stable on your own. But when this comes in, Queen of Pentacles comes in, and then this happens. This puts you here. That is fast movement. That is not thinking about it. That's taken off. So, let's pull shamanic healing. Is this, wait a minute, is this that energy? I want to know if it's that same person. Judgment, God getting the final word, three of wands, tower. <laughs> Their nostalgia trip down memory lane has brought up stuff for you. It has. This is God getting the final word in the matter. It's almost like you don't surrender the wheel to him, he takes the wheel. This is how you feel when you are talking to this person in this energy. You feel like you're talking to two different people. One minute they're passionate, fiery, temper, tempestuous. Then the next minute they're dousing out that flame. And they're in their emotions and really distancing themselves. That's how this makes you feel. Three of Wands. Like you're talking to two different people. And that's what brings on this tower. The tower is, we have towers built for everything in our life. Every relationship that we've ever had. Dreams, aspirations, goals. Spiritual, spirituality, um, belief systems, religious. We have towers for everything. This brought that tower down. Because I think you've gotten to the place where you realize that you don't want to sit here and feel like you're talking to two different people. Like there's got to be, they have to balance something. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, closing out a cycle. This is giving God the wheel. So he's taken the wheel. Now you've surrendered and given it to him. But see, that's the thing, too, is that you have to ask yourself, are you blocking that connection? There you go. Because I think when it comes to this, there's two different sides here. Like that tower feels like talking to two different people. But you also have to allow love to come in. So don't block that with your own mental limitation and being stuck in this, I can't trust this, I can't, I don't know what's going on, that type of thing. Don't stay in that mental cage and don't block love from coming in. This could be a test for you before, that's what it is, before the Queen of Pentacles comes in. Because when the Queen of Pentacles come in, it's going to be that connection and then you're going to be in that energy. Of having those emotions, but wanting to do something about it. That's what the Divine Masculine is. Okay, let's pull a few Shamanic Healing. Transformation, 22 card. That is angelic number. One more off the top, I was just told. Emotional release. Okay. This person came into your energy field so you can, you were tested, so you can release it and let it go. You learned your lessons from it. It's 37 card, 3 and 7 is 10. That's the completion of a cycle. 
This was a test for you because Queen of Pentacles right around the corner. Death card. Number eight, biblically, that's new beginning. This is transformative energy. One more off the bottom, that's what I was just told. Past, present, and future. Yeah, that's healing. This is something that needs to be dealt with. So it's coming up to be dealt with. That way you can move on. All right, for the collective sign of Aquarius, this is your general message, timeless, love and light. 